Uh, Browns have released Perrion Winfrey. The guy just couldn't stay out of trouble again. Um, he found himself in, in trouble again. There's a video out there. Uh, if you haven't seen it and you want to check it out, it's not exactly... I mean, I've seen worse videos, but it's still not a fun video to watch. Um, he did it right. If you haven't seen the video, he, he literally is like hunting and assaulting a woman in front of the nine, like right on Euclid. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, I don't understand. Like, what is, what is wrong with this guy? It's just kind of super disappointing because <laughs> especially like when you look at all the like positional groups. He had that's a like to one be yes a player this year. He w <laughs> our expectations were he was going to take that step, and he could be a starter or at least a rotational piece. And for a guy that a lot of people liked, you know, like we thought he was a steal and we loved the energy. I, I had a couple of people say maybe that's a little too much energy. He makes me a little <laughs> maybe a little too much, and I was like, nah, you know. So it's just tough. Uh, I think for him, huge like lost opportunity and maybe a reflect moment. You know, it's tough to. When I was 22, 23 years old, I, I made some terrible decisions too. It's not like, you know. I feel like there's, there's, there's being a, a dumb young kid and yeah. then there's like just what kind of being like a bad person. Mm. And some of the things he's doing is like, that's like what bad people do. Yeah. And that's the <laughs> most worrisome thing for him yeah. is because he's 22 years old. Yeah. I mean, he's just out of college. I, I mean, come on. And, you know, it was back in April that he got. Did he get? He was arrested. He's, yeah. I think they, went, they took him to jail. He domestic violence against his girlfriend, I believe it was something like that. Something yeah. like that. <clears throat> now you've got him, you know, claiming that these women were harassing him, like in the hotel lobby, wherever, wherever he was at, and he followed them outside. Like, dude. Yeah, dude. but I. It doesn't matter if you're enticed. Right. Don't hit a, a woman. Correct. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and, and tell them on video, you're going to beat the crap out of them and show a gun at them. Like, come on. You're yeah. supposed to be the grown up here. You're, supposed, you're the professional athlete. You're the one with everything to lose. You know, you have to be mature. So it's, it's sad because like we said, the guy had a chance to really make a name for himself on the team. He was going to be a guy who got time this year. Yep. If he could figure it out mentally. And now, I mean, who knows where his career goes from here? Yeah. And I'm just reading on TMZ. It says, Perrion's not been arrested, but he's listed as a suspect in an aggravated robbery, which is a first-degree felony. Oops. I don't know where that ties in with the what he did with, with the woman here on the street on this video, but it's just all bad news for him. Yeah, he's got to get help. He yes. does. Like, and I know the Browns released him, but also at the same time, like, I don't, do they just cut ties or are they like, hey, like at least like slide them somebody's phone number? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, because I, I got on the Browns about that with Johnny Manziel in terms of like at some point people got to help themselves and I get that. But I felt like the Browns could have better, done a better job. Like, hey, let's get this guy something. We, they clearly knew he was an issue, you know, and the Browns clearly knew Perrion's got some stuff going on. So... At what point do the Browns, I'm not saying they have a responsibility to babysit them, but to at least like try to get them some support. I don't know. Hopefully they didn't just cut ties. Hopefully they're doing something for him because you hate to see like a 20 year old kid's life just be down the tubes already when there's that much potential. Yeah. You know, there's just, there's bad things going on for him because like, like I said, it was in April that the last incident happened. And here we are just a few months later, he was already on thin ice as it was. And something happens again. And it's like, man, that. And again, like at some point you got to learn, like the Browns did the right thing. You mm -hmm. can't, he can't be on the team. He can't be on the, you know what I mean? So. And he's lucky it didn't happen even sooner. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we, we talked about, should they cut him and release last him? time? Last time. Yeah. yeah. So you knew it was, it was the final straw. He was on thin ice as it was. Um, and you knew it was bad last year when they, he just like didn't dress and stuff just because of behavioral Healthy scratch. issues, yep. that kind of yep. stuff. Um, so I think he's, what, the second Browns player now drafted by Andrew Barry to be released? I believe so. So, yep. Um, I mean, and you know Andrew Barry doesn't like to let his guys go. And it sucks because this, this had nothing to do with his on-field performance. Yeah, he started to flash last year. This is what we're talking about in terms of he had a chance with, with Zadarius next to him and another vet to come in and kind of teach him how to be a pro. And, uh, you know, we drafted Ika and we got um, – Tomlinson yep. on the inside, you know, like there's some guys around him now where he could go in and, and really flash and just threw it all away. 
It's a bummer. Last year, he appeared in 13 games for the Browns, 22 combined tackles, one tackle for loss, two quarterback hits, and a half a sack. Yeah. And I feel like most of that was second half of the season. Yes, I agree. So at least that's the way it felt. I, I can't confirm that. Uh, so that, that's <laughs> – but I didn't notice him a lot at first. Started to notice him late. So that's the, that's the way it felt. We talked so. about him a lot the second half yeah. of the season. Somebody yeah. can fact check me. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Uh, <laughs> but that's just my gut. Uh, so – that is that was sad news. So we, we we wanted to address that. That's some unfortunate Browns news. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Dogs Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at the Dogs Podcast. Get your thoughts on the show at thedogspodcast.com.